Have you heard? Have you heard? Hi, Farmer Jane. Have I heard what? I have flying pigs in my garden that sing opera music. It's incredible. I'm sorry. Did you just say you had flying pigs in your garden that sing opera music? Did that really just come out of your mouth or do I need to ease up on the painkillers? It's true. Amazing. Can't I see these amazing pigs? Oh, no. You can't see them. Unless you have faith in them, they are invisible and inaudible. I see. So what you are saying is that you are imagining these cute porky divas flying above your garden? No. They are really there. But you can only see them if you have faith in them. You believe me, don't you? I'm sorry, but no, I don't believe you. You seem like a nice person, and you have always been a good neighbor. But I'm going to need some proof to believe a wild claim like flying invisible singing pigs. Why can't you just believe me? Why can't you take my word for it? Because I am not that credulous a person. Sorry. Well, I read in a really really old book that flying singing pigs are real. A lot of people have read this book and like it a lot. Now do you believe in my flying pigs? No. What's the matter with you? Why don't you have any faith? I'm not going to believe a crazy claim like flying invisible pigs just on faith. Why not? Why can't you just assume what I say is true? Because in real life, pigs don't fly. Or sing. They're not invisible, either. Well, you can't prove I don't have flying singing pigs above my garden. So there. You have your belief, and I have mine. My belief is just as valid as yours. No, that's not the way the world works. You are making an extraordinary claim. And extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. The burden of proof is on you, not on me to disprove it. But my flying pigs make me feel better. They give me hope. They tell me I have a special place in the universe. That's nice. I'm happy you were happy. So why don't you say you believe in the pigs and you can be happy, too? No. You see, I actually care whether the things I believe are true. Even if believing in your pigs made me feel better, that wouldn't be a reason to believe in them. Well, I must go now. No. It's very important that you believe in the flying pigs, too. Uh, why? Because the old book that talks about them says that believing in the flying pigs is the only way to be a good person. That if you don't believe in the pigs you are an immoral anarchist, communist, socialist, fascist, homosexual. The book says that if you don't believe in the invisible flying pigs, you will be punished forever after you die. What? The book that talks about the flying pigs includes a list of rules on how to behave. If you don't believe in the pigs, you won't follow this list and you won't be a good person. It explains that it's wrong to do things like lie, cheat, steal, kill, or listen to any Debbie Brothers albums after Michael McDonald joined the band. But that makes no sense. I can figure out for myself that it's not good for society for me to lie, cheat, steal or kill. And anyone who isn't a complete idiot knows that the only good Dolby Brothers albums were made before Michael McDonald was hired as their lead singer. By the way, the voice protocol for these little movies totally fails when it comes to saying the word Dolby. Don't you agree? The ancient flying pig book foretold that the extra normal voice protocol wouldn't be able to say the names of 70s bands for shit. If you would only believe. I try to be a rational person. And I won't believe something as unlikely as flying operatic pigs just on faith. You believe in nothing. How can you base your life on nothing? I believe in plenty of things. I believe in America, and science, and Krispy Kreme donuts. If you don't believe in my pigs, you are immortal. You will be punished forever. That's pretty aggressive and offensive. You can believe whatever batshit thing you want to believe, but you don't get to insist I believe it. Would you sign this petition so that we can force the public schools to teach about the flying pigs, so children can grow up to be moral and good citizens? Absolutely not. Our constitution forbids government from officially endorsing anything like that. Many of the people who put this country together believed in the flying pigs. That means that our country is a flying singing pig country, and if you don't believe in the flying pigs, you aren't really an American. I really must go now. In fact, 
I am going home to call my congressman to make sure he knows not to allow your irrational unproven stories to be taught to children as if they were fact. You are a thug. You are persecuting me. You are an immoral anarchist, communist, socialist, fascist, homosexual and you are going to be punished for all eternity. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching my little movie. If you enjoyed it, please send me thousands of dollars or a new car. Please feel free to leave a comment.